Alleluia! Alleluia! The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia! Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, 
for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith, and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A Collect for Epiphany Creator of the heavens, who led the Magi by a star to worship the Christ child, guide and sustain us, that we may find our journey's end in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray to God for the needs of the world. Dear God, as we begin a new year, a new chapter in all of our lives, we pray that you will go with us into the unknown. Guide the leaders of nations to find new solutions to age-old problems, and not to continue to make the mistakes of the past. Comfort those for whom the past year has been a time of pain and anxiety. Give them your assurance that their troubles will not last forever. Give strength to those with difficult decisions to make this year, business people considering whether to carry on or to close down, people whose career plans have been thrown into disarray by the pandemic, older people no longer able to look after themselves. Give to us all a new spirit of love and peace that we may become better neighbours to all those around us. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord God, the bright splendour whom the nations seek, May we who with the wise men have been drawn by your light discern the glory of your presence in your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort, 
knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you.